Hey, uh, welcome back. Okay, so our major problem here right now is that we can edit any column that we want here for as long as it's a table data thingy here. Okay, so not ideal if, for example, we don't want the employee number to be editable, right? So let's uh, fix that real quick. And this is not a big deal. So this is where uh, attributes come in. So I want to show you how to use attributes to your advantage. Okay, so let's come back here to the table itself. Mm -hmm. So there are many ways we can do this. I can add an attribute to the table data or uh, I can add some complicated code there to just figure out what cell we are on and then ignore certain cells, right? That could also be a valid thing to do. So let me come back here for a second to, to the API.php because the API.php is what creates our table really here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, not really, no. Our table is created here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So refresh table, this is where the table is created from. Mm -hmm. So now the thing is, we can choose which of these keys we don't want to, uh, to be able to edit. All right, so let me come back here for a second. Now, the thing is, um, it's a good idea to give each cell, we're going to do that anyway, it's a good idea to give each cell an identity because that way we know what data is contained in that cell and then we're, even when saving to the database, we know where to actually save that data. Otherwise, this is just arbitrary data, but we need to know what each column is about. So in order to do that, let's give each column an attribute called uh, column, actually. Let's name it column, why not? because these are the columns here, they are named, but the rows not really uh, so. We can name them with uh, this, but the column name is there, so we can have a row and a column for each one of these. So let's come down here to table row, and then this is the table data here being created. So what I want is inside the table data here to create an attribute called, um, let's just call it column, yeah? Column, like so. Mm -hmm. And obviously we're going to create a row as well to give it a row number, mm -hmm. like that. Very good. Okay, but for now, let's not mind the row, let's mind the column. So what column do we put in here? So I just want to add a variable there which is a key right because remember the key is what contains the column name for this item here so I'm just going to put key there but this is a variable so let's put a uh, dollar sign like that uh -huh. that should work so now let me refresh my page and you don't look like nothing, something has changed, but let's inspect the element, shall we? Okay, doc. So now, as you can see, in the table data, there's a column right here, which is column last name. And then there's row, which is empty because we didn't add anything. And then there it is. So at least now we know the column name here of each item. So now we know that this is an email, this is the extension, this is the first name, this is the last name. So this is very good. Office code there reports to job title. This is very good now. Everything here is now marked, including the employee number. Mm -hmm. 
Mm hmm. Okay. So yeah, this is actually good. I don't think we even need the row number, really. No, we do not. So for now, I think row is irrelevant. Let me remove it. Because uh, the thing is, what I wanted to add in the row is the employee number here. But the problem is not every table has employee number. So we are trying to make this table as universal as possible so it can run on any table regardless what the ID is, okay? All right, so let's come back here for a second and uh, finish up. So once we do this now, we can uh, select what columns are not allowed to be editable. So we can do this by going to, let's create a an array up here. So, so I'm going to call this array, uh, I'm just going to say var, the way you create an array is, uh, what do we call it? Uh, maybe we can call it don't edit, like that. Don't edit or do not edit, that's entirely up to you. So we can do this to create an array and then we can push items into the array one by one, right? Or if you don't want to do it uh, this way, you can just do that. And then let's add our items right there. So the first item I'm going to add, do not edit is employee number, right? I don't want to edit the employee number. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, and since it's a string, I'm going to put it inside inverted commas like that. So every time I have an item to add, I just put a comma here and duplicate like that. And so let's see what other one we don't want to be able to edit. Uh, maybe we want to edit the sales rep. I don't know, extension, first name, last name. I think everything else is pretty standard. So we can leave it at that. Just make sure that the very last item never has a comma. It should always be like that. Okay. But since it's only one item, uh, let's remove this one with a comma, like so. Okay, so don't edit, just add whatever you don't want to edit here when that comes up, right? And then it won't edit. So all we have to do now when editing here is, uh, let me come down here to the function edit, okay? So first of all, we're going to get the active cell. So that is the active cell. So what I want is uh, before I do any of this, let's ask the question, shall we? Let me come up here. First check if it's, if, Cell is editable. Mm -hmm. So if it's not editable, just return and don't do any of the, the things below here. So how do we check? Well, let's get the attribute first. So I'm going to say e.target, but first I'm going to say var mm -hmm. uh, column is equal to e dot target, which is the cell that we have double clicked, dot get attribute, okay? So let's get that attribute named column in there. Okay, then we check what value it is. So we are looking for if we can find it inside the, um, but first of all, I want to show you here. Let me just type return here so that we don't go to the rest of this. And then I just do a console.log. Console.log uh, column. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what result we get there. So let me go here. Inspect the element. Refresh. Console. Mm -hmm. So double click here. And you see we get extension. It knows this is extension. Here it's employee number. Here last name and here job title. So things are working out, but then what do we do with this info? So I'm going to say, 
Let me come down here for a second. So I'm going to say if it exists in that uh, in the array, right? So if don't edit dot index of capital O there. So what I'm saying is I want to find don't edit inside. I want to find column inside this don't edit uh, thingy there, right? So if it is found, then return, right? So let's say instead console.log Yes, console.log, let's log the column still. So what I'm saying is that if I find my column inside the don't edit, then just show me there, otherwise don't do anything. So let's try these, empty, oh, email, extension. And what about this one? It's not found. Okay, good. So here I'm saying if you find it, if... Oh yeah, so the only one that is found, oh, so we have to negate this actually. Let's put a, an exclamation mark there. So I'm going to refresh. Now it shows employee number, but it doesn't show for the rest of these. Okay, so very good. We are working it out, employee number. So once we get there, all we have to do is say return. Don't do nothing from here. So let's remove this overall return there and let's see what happens. So now if I refresh the page and try to edit one of these, uh, it's editable. But if I try to edit this one, I get nothing. You see there? Mm -hmm. So let's say if I don't want the last name to be editable as well. So all I have to do is add it to the list. So copy there. And then uh, what do we do? Let's add it to the list right here. Duplicate. Put a column and change that one. Okay. Hmm. Refresh. So let's see now. Oops. Uh oh. Last name is also editable. Okay, so things are not working out as planned. Are they now? No, they are not. Okay, let's come back for a second here. So here, the way we are checking for things is the problem. So I think index of isn't doing the job. Now, is it? Hmm. Okay, so let's try something else. Let's try... Um, Let's try console.log. Mm, dot contains. Hmm? Let's try if contains is a real thing. And then let's do a return here. Okay. All right. So refresh and okay. Contains is not a function. Hmm, who could have known? Okay, so let's try includes. Let's see if that one works, yes? Because I usually get confused with one of these two, which one it is, right? Mm -hmm. So now you can see it's telling me false here, which means uh, it doesn't include one of these at all. So if I click on that, true, right? That, true that false that true okay so that's the baby we were looking for so let me cut that and boom paste there there we go okay so that solves our problem so if don't edit includes column get out of here okay so refresh uh-huh now we can edit that but we can't edit this, we can't edit that. Okay, now you could be thinking to yourself, well, this is not very dynamic because 
uh, I have to come in here and physically type what columns I want to be able to edit. Well, yeah, you have to do that. But at the same time, because we have this capability, what we can do is create a table where you can set, you can tell the user to set or the admin or something to set what columns are editable and what are not. And then all we have to do is once we load the table, we also load that data from that table, which contains what is not supposed to be edited. And then we put it inside this array from the database. That way you don't have to actually edit your code in order to tell what columns to edit or not. Yeah, any layman can do it from the user interface, save that data to the database, and then you load it in here. All right, so, so far so good, but I want to be able to edit the name, so I will remove this one here. All right, so I'll see you in the next video where we do something else. Let's make it more uh, look more like a, uh, Excel, where once we click on something, we can use the arrow keys to select, or once we click on an SL, it will look selected and so on. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.